binary logistic regression uh, with continuous predictor in stata binary logistic regression is a statistical method that can be performed to find out whether there is a relationship or association between two variables one of the variable which is the response variable or the dependent variable or the outcome have to be binary or binomial which means that it have to have two levels in it such as life dead male or females the second variable which is called predictor or independent variable or exposure or explanatory variable can be continuous uh, such as weight height and length can be categorical such as jobs uh, can be ordinal when the data have order in it when uh, including a continuous predictor in a regression model and when to test whether there is association between a continuous predictor and a outcome the assumptions for the binary logistic regression has to be met one of the assumptions that has to be met when using a continuous predictor is that there is a linear relationship or association between the continuous predictor and the outcome to test that that the assumption is fulfilled for linearity then hypothesis has to be generated the null hypothesis will state that there is a linear relationship between the continuous predictor and the outcome the alternative hypothesis will state that there is no linear relationship between the continuous predictor and the outcome which means that uh, the relationship might be quadratic cubic logarithmic or exponential and then a p-value has to be generated and based on that p-value the assumption will be determined whether it has been fulfilled or not so to uh, perform the test first of all generate a hypothesis then use the likelihood ratio test for linearity and to do that test you need first of all to generate a model regression model which only contains the continuous predictor with other uh, predictors if there are more than one predictor and uh, generate a second uh, model which contains the continuous predictor and a transformed form of the predictor which is a quadratic of that continuous predictor then compare the two models using the likelihood ratio test and determine the p-value if the p-value is less than 0 0.05 then the alternative hypothesis will be accepted and that states that there is no linear relationship between this continuous predictor and the outcome so that predictor cannot be included in the analysis as it has violated the assumption for performing the test however if a linearity between the continuous variable and the outcome has been uh, confirmed then the uh, logistic or binary logistic regression can include this continuous variable or continuous predictor in it here in this stata view i have three variable the heart disease variable which is a binary variable that have two levels in it either you have a heart disease yes or no uh, a predictor which is age is a continuous predictor that is uh, on a scale uh, range and it is measured in uh, years and uh, another predictor which is the sex and the sex is a binary or binomial predictor that have two levels in it 
males or females. So to find out whether there is a relationship between sex, age, uh, and the outcome, which is heart diseases, whether sex and age can have an impact on heart diseases, then a binary logistic regression will be performed. And since we have here two predictor, sex and age, and one outcome before performing the binary logistic regression, the age, which is a continuous predictor, continuous variable have to be checked for linearity uh, with the, the heart diseases so you have to find out whether this continuous variable or continuous predictor the age is in a in a linear relationship or associated with the, the outcome which is the heart diseases and the way to do that is to First, let us generate a quadratic form of that continuous variable. So let's transform this uh, uh, continuous predictor into a quadratic form. And the way to do that, uh, in the command section, the first step to do is to generate a variable by typing GAN for generate and then a new variable we'll call it as age and then s q for square equal sign then age multiplied by age so this is the square of the age which is a quadratic form and if we hit enter and we type edit to look at the data again additional new variable is generated which is labeled as age uh, square of the value for each um, age of participant in that study. Back again to the command section, since we have generated now a new variable, we need to first of all um, generate a first model. The first model will include only the continuous predictor with other predictor, then generate a second model which uh, conclude in it the continuous variable with other predictor plus the quadratic form of that uh, continuous predictor. And the way to do that is to type logistic as uh, uh, this is a binary logistic, then uh, space, type the outcome, which is heart disease, then space, then let's insert the first predictor, which is the sex, and then the second predictor, which is the age, uh, to generate the first regression model. And hit enter. A table is generated as shown here for the sex and age. And as shown here, there are 94 observation or participant. And uh, as shown here for the sex, the p-value is significant, the age is significant. And for the confidence interval also given for the odds ratio. And since the uh, uh, females has been set as a reference category from the table here, males, have a higher odds ratio of uh, having heart diseases compared to females and they have a 18.9 increased odd ratio compared to females this is significant and the confidence interval upper and lower uh, includes in it the odds ratio for the age predictor it shows that for every year increase in the age of participant or individual, there is an increase of 1.1 in the odd ratio um, for having or getting heart diseases. Now, the objective is to check whether the age is in a linear relationship with the, the heart diseases. Uh, and the way to do that is first to include it in the model and let's call that model give it a name by typing est and store it as model a hit enter now we need to insert the same predictor in the model 
uh, for logistic regression adding to that the quadratic form of the um, continuous variable by typing logistic space type heart diseases the outcome space the sex space then the age and then the age is q so to include in the model the quadratic form of the continuous variable hit enter as shown here a new table is generated and as shown here the p-value for the predictor age is um, uh, greater than 0 0.05 and the p-value also for the age quadratic or age square is also greater than 0 0.05 now we have two models model uh, stored as a then we need to store this as model b so est store then p hit enter now we have two models model a which only contains the continuous predictor model p which contains the continuous predictor plus the quadratic form of that predictor now the final step is to compare these two models by using the likelihood ratio test by typing la l r then uh, test space the first model space the second model and hit enter a p value is generated which is less by less than 0 0.05 this means that uh, we will have to uh, um, accept the uh, alternative hypothesis this indicates that uh, the continuous variable is not in a linear association with the outcome uh, so the assumption for linearity has been violated and uh, thus the age uh, variable or predictor cannot be included in the final model for logistic regression as it has not uh, uh, satisfied or fulfilled the criteria for performing the uh, binary logistic regression. So this is the way to perform linearity assumption check uh, in binary logistic regression in STATA.